What's going on saxophone friends? This is Tyler Anderson with getasax.com. Today we are going to take a look at how to use the mobile app for the new Yamaha YDS digital saxophone. I'm going to go through how the app is laid out and how to use it to create custom patches on your YDS. So let's go ahead and hop in. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do to get the YDS set up to the mobile app is that we're going to make sure Bluetooth is enabled on the YDS. So uh, what you do to make sure that Bluetooth is turned on is you press and hold the function button and then your low E flat key and you'll get either a prompt that says on or off. Um, if it's off, press the up button on the voice and that'll turn it on. If it's on, uh, don't do anything. It's already good to go. So um, once we get Bluetooth going, we're going to go ahead and open up the YDS mobile app. So uh, as soon as you open it up, it's, uh, as you can see, going to look for the MIDI device. And we can see the YDS 150 MIDI is right there. And we're hooked up. So uh, when you go ahead and take a look at the app, you've got um, the first option is your 20 user presets that you are able to make. Um, we'll mess around with those in a second. There's a fingering chart that shows you all the fingerings for the YDS. Standard saxophone fingerings, but uh, definitely helpful if you're trying to do some more altissimo type stuff on the YDS. Um, those fingerings are going to be specific. And then there's settings where you can change overall tuning, key response, reverb, and so on. So let's go ahead and hop in. We're going to take a look at how to create a user preset. I'm going to go ahead and use U10 because I have made presets on a number of other uh, of the early presets. So the first option that you get is to select one of the voice groups. You have either the alto sax, soprano sax, tenor sax, baritone sax, or synth. So let's go ahead. We'll choose tenor sax for now. And then the preset voice is going to give you all those pre-populated um, sounds that are already in the YDS. So we'll go ahead and choose breathy uh, tenor sax four. So now we get into where the YDS starts to be a lot more customizable um, and uh, fun. So if I start to play. <laughs> Say we want to uh, have our voice for the user preset down an octave. So we'll go over to this transpose button. Um, we'll go down um, 12. So we'll end up at 26. And now that's a whole octave lower. I'm going to go ahead and put that back up. To, oh. um, we're going to go ahead and put that back up to 14. So you can control the volume. Um, that's pretty easy. Okay, so the effects type. This is where we can start having fun. Let's go through a number of what these effects are. So we've got a rotary speaker effect. <laughs> And it's going to give you uh, some more customization on here where you can control the LFO frequency and the drive. Um, I'll probably do a video uh, at some point for those of you out there that want to learn more about these effects and what they do. We've got distortion one. And we can add more overdrive and output level to that. Let's go ahead and hear Distortion 2. This one has, uh, we can add some more preamp and more output to that. Chorus effect. around like I said with LFO a 
We've got flanger. <laughs> And I won't go through all these. Um, you get the idea. There's a phaser, tremolo, auto pan, low pass filter, high pass filter. It's kind of fun to be able to mess around with these effects. And like I said um, earlier at the top, you're selecting um, your voice group. So uh, if um, we're doing a tenor sax, we're going to be editing the tenor sax sound. But you could go through, you know, change this to soprano sax, put the phaser on. Which is pretty cool. So the other fun option that we have in here is um, we have this analog controller um, at the bottom, this little thumb pad. So uh, right now it's set to pitch bend. And we can change the range of what we want our pitch bend to be. So that's pretty cool. Um, we can change this uh, to a mod. Gives a little modulation there. And uh, there's portamento on there. So anyways, we've got a lot of options that we can go through and customize um, sounds with the YDS, which I think is where this instrument does really well. It's fun to be able to do this and the app um, connects via Bluetooth to the YDS, um, so uh, even if you're just practicing on the YDS, having the app out is cool because instead of cycling through all these user presets, you can go ahead and uh, just pull stuff on the app. If I try to exit this, it'll give me the option to save and I'll go ahead and save that. So there you go, that's the mobile app for the YDS. Um, hop in there, check it out, it's a lot of fun. Like I said, I think it is really, um, what this instrument has going for it. A lot of the preset sounds are not amazing, but the fact that there's ability to go in uh, to these presets and make adjustments with effects is really cool. All right, everybody, have a good day. Bye.